My name is Tyler. And I'm Jason. And our senior project is a USB protocol analyzer. And what this device is, is as you can see in this picture here, if you have a device like a printer and a computer connected to it and you want to figure out what's going on in the communication between them, you place a USB protocol analyzer in between them and the data is forwarded up through a network to be analyzed on a computer. Hey, so for our project, um, a lot of a lot of USB is really high speed. Things happen really fast. Um, so we couldn't just build our project by hand using conventional methods. And what we did was we actually designed a printed circuit board like you'd see in a computer. And we designed it on a computer and you see something that looks like this. Um, you send it off for manufacturing, uh, pay some company in China a bunch of money, and they'll build a little board look, which looks like this. And we designed ours to fit on top of another another board made by a company called XMOS, that's what this red piece is, and they basically fit together. Um, the, the board from XMOS is just a processor and this is just what actually uh, captures the data and Tyler is going to show you basically what it actually does. Yep, so in a simplified demonstration here we have a USB keyboard connected through our analyzer to my computer here and you'll see if we hit a key on the keyboard then up in the capture program here you can see it's capturing the data as it goes through, whoops, and I actually just hit a command. So as you press keys on the keyboard, the data is captured. Um, a more complex would be um, controlling a robot or something like that, and trying to reverse engineer the protocol that's actually controlling it. So again, what our device does is it watches the communication between the keyboard and the computer and tells you what's going on. And basically, getting that kind of information for uh, new devices made by other companies is not particularly easy. Um, and that's why you would have a device like this. And that's a senior project. Thank you.